So, so this is the time I want to uh, take this opportunity to uh, break that label. Because most of us, people with our background, we are labeled with certain things. Or oh, it's a junkie, this a ex convict. Oh, so we are or labeled, like that, right? Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, are, yeah. we are labeled. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm taking this opportunity to unlabel it and yep. also to turn stereotype into archetype. Which means that uh, we want to change yep. from what you see us, we want to change into a leadership. Yep. And uh, I hope that uh, we can succeed in this. And then uh, that's why someone has to do it. Lah. So I'm fortunate, I'm chosen, and uh, I have the opportunity to, to be the pioneer to do this thing, then why not? No, I think I, I think it's a good thing because like like you said, because <laughs> you know, like it's 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 sometimes it's very hard to shake off that sort of um stereotype or, or like yes. like like you said, a label, you know, you walk around your head, you know, everyone's yeah. So I, I think it's good to break the barriers and, and, and to uh to show everyone that that you don't have to be carrying that barrier over or that label over your yeah. head all the time. Yes. There's more to it than 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 just that. Yeah, it's actually is a it's a very wide concept. Actually, it's a very wide concept. Mm. Laboring is just part of the life we have to face, and uh, the most important thing is that uh, because for ex convicts, uh, mostly they have a very uh, victimized mindset for us we we used to have a very victimized mindset i would call it because why every time when we are released from prison we say mm. oh employer don't give us a chance oh government ah, yep, never yep, help yep, us yep. you see yep yep oh because i i, I talk all that one you know i i just got released so yes i have i am putting a lot of effort with my group of volunteers we are putting a lot of effort, a lot of effort to break this type of thinking. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, my group of volunteers from Loving Hand Fellowship, we are made up of mostly about 70% of ex-convicts. <gasps> and these 70% are all prison counsellors now. Oh, wow, okay. Some are even businessmen, some are very active in mission. So notes, they're all giving, all giving back la, in, in a way. Yes. And I want to tell, I, I want to bring out this message to, to, to the rest that mm. actually we don't really need help. We can contribute back to society. Mm. It's a choice. It's a choice we chose. But it's also a chance. Yes. You, you have to you, be given. If you don't... If, you see, you know, people have to have we a always mindset invite to them. Yeah. We always invite them. Okay, yeah. after your prison sentence mm. you can always come to us we yep, can yep. journey together mm. every one of us never consider we are successful although we are 10 20 years outside we never consider we are successful we only tell them we are recovering addicts we are still on the journey of recovering until mm. we die but you need a group of special people to support one another. We call ourselves like brothers keeper. I keep an eye on you, you keep an eye on me. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, yep, yep. And then we are very sensitive to all these vices. So if you are not <laughs> doing something right, and then we can easily, hey, hey bro, you, you are not right, eh? by the look of your eyes. Huh? So it's, oh, we really? are very sensitive uh... to all this. Right, and then right, right, we can right. step in. We can step in at the first minute, uh, yeah, to, and nip uh, it in the to, bud to offer help. Mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. Offer help. So, uh, so, so that's the difference. Uh. Mm -hmm. And uh, we hope that they are willing to journey with us. Mm -hmm. But it's a choice. Uh. Every time I will tell them, it's a choice. Uh. Because so, this is a choice. You have to leave your comfort zone and join mm -hmm, us mm -hmm. to do something very new. But I think you, you know have for to leave your old friends, yeah. So they, you know, the comfort zone 
thing. It, it might be something that it's a tough gig for them to leave sometimes because that that area is too nice and warm. And to step out beyond right. that comfort zone, yeah. they, they need helping hands yeah. like you guys to to to, you know, to I, reach out and, and guide them. Yeah, that's why I always encourage them. I say leaving our comfort zone means that we have to adopt in new habits, new lifestyle to take over our old habits and lifestyle. Because once we start doing something new and we keep on doing, doing, uh, it will actually took over our old habit. And uh, our human brains are like, I always share this, yeah, our human brains are like cell phone. If you go to Facebook, Instagram, you always like that few page. Uh. Every mm -hmm. time you on your phone, uh, they will pop up. So you have to learn to like other page in order not to let this old page to pop up. Right, 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 right. I understand <laughs> yeah, what you say. <laughs> oh, that's a good um, analogy of, of, of it. Because if not, yeah, you keep so, saying, saying the same things, you, you need to broaden your, your vision. Yeah, every day we, are, we, we are having the same con con conversation. About, hey, what's yeah, good yeah. now? Uh, what, what makes you high now? Oh, 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 all the new, all those new new drugs, new drugs, right? every day your conversation is there. Yeah, yeah. So you have to have new conversation, new life, New topics to talk about things. and new things to think yes. about. Then that would divert yeah. your, you know, yes. your attention you to will, something You else. will actually, actually, you will slowly took over your old habit and right, uh, it right. will create you and become a new habit. 